Hi, I'm Bill from CJ Pony Parts. So far, I've done quite a few weather stripping videos on the Black Pearl, our 1990 Mustang LX project car. Most recently, we did the doors because we had a lot of wind noise from the door. While the door weather strip is now fixed, there's still a ton of wind noise though. The culprit is the door run weather strip. As you can see, I'm actually missing a complete chunk of it out of here, which is what's allowing the wind to get into the car. So today, we're going to show you how to replace the door run weather strip on your 1979 through 1993 Mustang. This door on weather strip is going to fit inside the door channel and it's going to fit your 1979 through 1993 Mustang, except for the convertible or the T-top. This actually has two purposes. It's going to seal up the glass when it goes up into the door channel, but it also keeps the glass from rattling around. So if these go bad, it can cause all kinds of problems with your Fox Body Mustang. For this installation, you'll need a 3 8 ratchet, 9 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, small plastic pry bar, Phillips head screwdriver, and a long screwdriver or yardstick. Compared to some of the other weather strip installations we've done, the door run is going to be probably one of the harder ones to do. There's a couple reasons for that. The one is, like you see mine here, they get very dried out. And when they do, they crack and it'll probably come off in pieces. The front part here actually goes all the way down the door. So you, if everything goes perfectly, you get the old weather strip out and you can actually slide the new one down the channel and get down the doorway. For most people, including I know myself, that's not going to happen. So we're going to show you the worst case scenario where we're going to take the door panel off along with the mirror and the mirror cover, give us access to get the weather strip off and get the new one in place. So the first step, remove the door panel. We're going to start up here at the mirror cover by removing the screw. On the door cup. Don't forget the small screw here at the bottom of the speaker. With well, the screws off now, we're gonna move these plastic covers. You can see obviously we're missing one, but we'll move the other one. And then remove the two bolts inside. Door handle down, then remove these plugs. Then we can remove the armrest and then the door panel. Now the outside edge should have door pins in it. Ours is actually missing the panel clips. We'll definitely be replacing them when we have it apart. Third thing out of the way, now we can remove the weather stripping. Again, mine's very dried. It'll probably come off in pieces. Basically work your way down here, and then down here, removing all the original weather strip. We're also going to remove our mirror to make it easier to get down into the front because again, that's the hardest part to install. The whole part now, just double check the channel. Make sure there's no pieces still stuck in here because of how dried out this gets. A lot of times, the chunks get left behind. Once it's cleaned out, we're ready to begin the installation. What we're going to do now is actually lubricate the channel just a little bit to make it easier to get the rubber to seat. Now starting in the back of the door, we're going to work this channel down into place. Again, these are side specific, so when you install them, make sure you grab the correct one. They look very similar, but they are unique. All right, once that's seated, you can work your way up the channel to the top of the door. Make sure the lip over here is over the edge of the metal. Small plastic pry bar will make this easier. You can use a screwdriver to be careful not to damage it. So this is going to be the hardest part of the installation. Once again, we're going to use a little WD-40 to lube up the channel. Pretty much what you have to do here is just slide the weather strip channel down into the metal channel. A little lubrication will make it easier. It's still difficult to do a long screwdriver, Anything you can get that's thin and longer, you can push it down and make the job a lot easier. Mm -hmm. 
And once you have the weather stripping in the channel, you gotta make sure it is all the way seated. If you don't, the first time you put the window up, it's just gonna rip the weather strip right off. You have to start all over again. So what you're gonna do is kind of work your way down. Again, a very long screwdriver will help. A paint stick works really well. Just make sure you work your way down and push it into place. All right, at this point, if you make sure you have the weather strip completely seated, I like to test it first. So plug in the window controls, and put the glass up and down, make sure it doesn't bind on anything. When you put the window up the first time, it might bind just a little bit, but what it'll do is actually work itself through the channel, and after the first or second time, it'll be much better. Sure, it seats there, and now we begin reassembly. Alright, once the door is back together, we're going to repeat the process on the other side and your installation is finished. Like I had mentioned before, the door run weather strip is a little more involved, a little more difficult than some of the other ones, but if you take your time, it isn't really that terrible to do. Between that and my belt lines being in decent shape with the new door weather strip, the car's going to be a lot more sealed up inside and be a lot nicer to drive. As far as installation, as far as the time goes, I would say give yourself about an hour to an hour and a half per door. Be back on the road in no time.